Welcome to the channel guys, hello once again. Yeah, I hope you liked the last video uh, about the uh, the fuel crisis. A bit tricky to fuel up. Yeah, I haven't actually found any yet. I've, I'm planning on going off on a trip tomorrow, so yeah, really, really need to find some soon. But I just had, had a delivery come through the post, and this is relating to my seat on the Triumph Speedmaster. So I've chosen a seat, it was an option of between three options. Uh, it was either the brown quilted diamond stitched seat that Triumph do themselves, which is beautiful I think, looks really good, absolutely love the looks of it. I mean it's up there with the best looking. Comfort wise it's the same as the standard seat, so the reason, the whole reason of me changing the seat really was because of the comfort. So unfortunately I had to rule that one out. So I haven't gone for that. And then left with two options. There was the comfort rider seat from Triumph. So Triumph do a, for the Speedmaster, they comes with a standard seat, but they also do a, a comfort seat version. You can get a rider and a pillion or just the rider. So my thinking is I'd probably have gone just for the rider of that seat. So that was the second. And then the third option, which was all in, would have been, which if you haven't seen them, check them out. They're, they're stunning seats. Unfortunately, I've, I've never actually ridden with one, but I've heard a lot of good things about them. Been onto their website and you can do the specking of the seats and the stitching and the piping around the seats. There's all sort of specifications you can do with them. It's called Corbin Seats. They're very good. They do it for all different types of bikes. The ones for the Speedmaster do look stunning. So that was my three options and it's time to uh, do the big reveal and see what's come through in the post. So let's take a look. Okay guys, here we go. Which one is it? So it's that size, so it looks like just the one seat to me. <laughs> Let's get it out. There it is. Went for the uh, classic Triumph, the comfort seat. Thought it was the safest bet. Best one to go for for me. I've heard good things about it. Uh, it's meant to be really, really comfortable. A bit more lumbar support with this section here. The dimensions are are definitely are bigger as well, so there's more of a wider cushioning for your uh, behind. My reasoning was the Corbin, it's about, they say, an eight to 10 week wait to get it through. And I'm planning on going on some trips very well in tomorrow, but actually in the future abroad again as well. So I want to get the seat quite quickly. And it was just a bit of a long wait for me, unfortunately, because they are stunning. They are expensive as well, so that was another factor. So yeah, that sort of ruled that out, unfortunately. I was sort of looking forward to it, but not the end of the world. The second one was a brown quilted from Triumph. I had to rule that out just for comfort wise. It's, it's exactly the same comfort as a standard seat. Not a waste of money, but wouldn't have made me any more comfortable. The best option was the standard comfort seat from Triumph. Seemed to make sense. You know it's gonna fit, it's gonna be comfortable. I've actually sat on one before, it's really comfortable. Yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, testing it, getting it on there and going for a test ride and seeing what she's like. But um, this is how it arrives. Got some screws on the back here, which I believe there's like a latch to unscrew it, to uh, lock it into place on the bike. But we'll go out now, the bike's just out the front. Show you how to put her on the bike and how she looks. Here she is. Please uh, do excuse the small quarters she's kept in, but needs must. This is the original seat. You've got your pillion in there and then your rider seat sort of separate. So you can see there's a gap there on the front. I've done a previous review of it video, I'll pop a link up, but it's not uncomfortable this seat over short distances, but anything over an hour to two hours, I would say, you do start feeling it a bit, or I do at least. I do some long miles on it, so I wanna change her out a bit, but it's not a bad seat. Yeah, it looks a bit bigger, definitely a lot thicker. Let's get it on and see how she properly looks. So first off is there's a screw this side and symmetrically the same the other side. I'm gonna undo that with a set of uh, Torx Allen key. I'll pop a link in the description for them. You can, you can get them on Amazon. It should be all I need to do this job. It's really straightforward. And then we'll see what she looks like underneath. All right, so 
So that is, uh, that's her off. That was really straightforward. You see it was these, two of these either side in here, these holes, just unscrewed those. And then actually under the seat, if you just nip your finger under, there's this latch. You, do, you give that a pull and it unleashes this mechanism and then you can just sort of lift the whole seat off. It's really easy, really straightforward. You can see there's this sort of safety latch that's got it on. I'll undo that. And then I believe I have to change these over, take this off, change it over onto the new seat and then it should be the same. Just clip it back on and put the screws back in. Awesome. That is the seat fully off. That's what it looks like underneath. Got the bit where it goes on the front and the mechanism sort of clips on here. And this is sort of your safety, safety wire. And then I've got the two seats down here, just next to each other so you can get a sort of idea for the difference in them and yeah they are quite different actually you can see it straight away the comfort seat's a fair bit wider it's a lot thicker a lot thicker padding um, and obviously it's got that um sort of lumbar lower back support on the back there i think that's going to be quite a bit more comfortable but we'll see soon let's uh now get her on the bike so next up is taking the plate latch mechanism off of the old seat and onto the new seat here. I'm a bit concerned. Triumph said it would fit. A bit concerned there's a little bit of metal you'll see in a sec poking out. It doesn't look like it's going to fit, but we'll see. Oh no, we're good. I was worried about a little bit of metal there, but actually the whole plastic bits come off with it. That will go on nicely. Now I'm just going to screw this down into these two holes here, these bolts. Well, actually, I'll use the new ones, but then feed that wire through and she'll be good to attach onto the bike. Okay, that's the plate on with the uh, release latch here. It's nearly there now, really this easy. Just got the safety wire here with this screw. Obviously, don't lose that. <laughs> yeah, leaves him hanging there. Then I'm going to screw that into this little hole here. There's a safety wire and then we'll get the um, slot this back on. Pop the two bolts back in and then hopefully she's good to go. And then we're comfy. Okay guys, so one more quick thing. This is the, uh, the original seat. On the back, there's these two metal um well to be honest i'm not too sure what they're for if anyone knows i'd be interested if you could let me know but don't forget to change these over and pop them on the back of the new seat so very nearly there so we've got the safety wire on we've got that little bit there that pops into the round hole in the plate and then it literally just pushes down and clips on this front section. Sorry, it's a bit tricky holding the camera. Just pushes on like that and then the two screw goes through, screws go through. Yeah, but nice conveniently, it's starting to rain. So I'm gonna get a move on. Back to the, um, the large Torx, Torx spanner, the, the T50 to tighten up the big two front bolts. You want to get these front two pretty tight. There's no sort of torque, torque setting to it, but you just go as tight as you can, really. Awesome. That was um, pretty straightforward, actually. So it's just the two, two main bolts at the front, the little safety wire, and then it was two bolts on the, the sort of plate it's like a latch mechanism um, just under the left hand side here you feel under there's like a ring you pull that and it will let the latch go and then you can you can take it off once you've undone these and that looks really good unfortunately it's just started raining so i was going to take it out for a nice nice cruise and do a nice review of the comfy seat but i think we'll we'll save that for another day now unfortunately but you'll have to tune in again now i will do a whole review of the seat and see if it's you know does the job and 
it's comfy enough for my long long tours and and long rides that i'll be doing but yeah hope that was really really useful guys thanks thanks for watching um if you're thinking uh thinking about a seat do check out the corbin seats they look brilliant it's uh good to do the work yourself obviously this is very simple saves on the pennies actually before we close i'll just let you know this seat you can look on the triumph website but it was 215 pounds sterling so 215 pounds including VAT, so not too bad. It's quite expensive, but compared to the Corbin ones, it was all right. We'll do the review another day. Thanks for tuning in. Take it easy. Peace out and uh, mental health awareness. Stay happy, guys. Ciao, Bella.